it's not a meditation it is action in every moment the action is the meditation <laughs> Maya, I would have hundreds of questions, but it seems like it boils down to just uh, tuning in and at least most of them will evaporate. I'm trying to do uh, tuning in. I sit with my eyes closed and I turn my attention, like turn around and inside of me, either in my heart region or in my navel region. And I just sit there quietly, trying not to concentrate too much, not to create tension, and just kind of try to feel or look inside, like with my kind of vision. Is it the way to do it? Yes, absolutely. You're on the right track. The thing is that this is not a, a sadhana or a practice where you sit too long and tune inward. It's not necessary to even do that. What is important is that when you want to tune inward, because your system feels that you have to tune inward, this would be the way to do it. But it doesn't have to be something you do for half an hour, now I'm going to feel the soul, and now I'm going to meditate on the soul. You do not have to meditate on the soul, because the soul is is impulsing the whole system. The soul, we don't know how to describe this soul, we don't know what it is, but it is something. And this something is in charge of what we call Matthews. How do you say your name? It's Mateusz. Mateusz, yes. So, Mateusz, the way you do it is, you just are living life, your sadhana is to be present and aware of everything you do in every moment. Not just what you're saying, but what you're hearing, what you're smelling, that's the sadhana, to try and receive consciously on all levels and to act consciously in every moment. It's a very, very tough sadhana and it takes years for people to even grasp what it's all about. It's the best sadhana that's around because it keeps you in your body, it keeps you present and yes, there are moments when you don't know anymore that this body is an instrument of the Truth and then you tune into the Truth and then you know it. So the way you are doing it is perfect, it's exactly how it should be done, just not for very long. It's not a meditation, it is action in every moment. The action is the meditation. So if you're always aware, if you're aware of everything you do, all the time, you're sitting like this, your your head is up, your head is down, you're looking there, you're looking there, all those things, if there's awareness, after a while this body just becomes an instrument of that Truth and there is no need to actually tune in. In the beginning, yes, the way you're doing it is the way to do it. And it's good that you found your way, because each person has a different way. You know, this is not a a religion where there are seven Kriyas and you have to do that and then you'll reach Paradise. The Paradise is right now, it's happening in this moment, you're creating it as you live. There's no nothing after death, it's now, you know. So in this moment, when you feel the need to tune in, that's how you do it. You tune in exactly the way you described it. You realize that at the center of your being is is the Truth, is the Cosmic, is the Divine, you know, you feel it. Even if you think you're brainwashing yourself to think that way, it's still better to do it that way than not to. So it's all, you're on the right track, definitely. Yes. I tried being aware of my actions, let's say walking or doing something, but I found myself thinking about it, and then it creates some more uh, hesitation to do things. It's like my mind is taking over the action, just, just thinking about it. Is there some way of, of avoiding it? In the beginning, when you start training in this sadhana of being aware and being in the present moment, the thinking interferes. But the good news is that after a while, it slowly peters out. And at one point, there isn't that much thinking. Actually, there's not really much thinking needed, because the whole system is, is in tune with 
what's going on, you know, it's just in tune with the environment and also it's in tune with the idea that it is an instrument. Because it has to sit in the conceptual. People generally would revolt at the idea of being an instrument. It's like, am I a robot? Yes, you are a robot. And so, it's great to be a robot of the Truth, so the thinking will slowly peter out. It will take some time, but after a while, in most people it sort of settles. And I'm not saying it's an easy path, it's not. It's a sadhana, it's a spiritual practice for the very tough and those who are, you know, ready to, to, to hold through. But uh, the fruit of it is, of course, presence, it's a strong physicality, it's a strong emotional being, it's a conceptual being that's clear. I mean, that thinking, that conceptual, that looseness in the conceptual becomes more and more contoured. So you only think when it's really necessary. But it'll take some time because you're used to thinking. And you're used to analyzing everything with thinking. But thinking, of course, doesn't lead you to knowing, so you have to let go of it. But it'll go on its own. If you have to think about your actions, then think about them. It's better to do that than not to do it at all. And then gradually it will reduce. It will. <laughs>